Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having an amazing morning. I'm sitting outside today. It's a beautiful day. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's like the weather's mocking us that we can't go anywhere. So I'm sitting on the porch. I have my berry hibiscus from Starbucks today. I'm cheating on the coffee with uh, just a nice refreshing drink this morning. Really, really good. How's everybody doing? I'm doing pretty well. Captain Fever is getting to me, hence why I'm sitting on the porch. But so far I'm doing pretty well. I hope everybody else is too. I have done some things this week, which I will talk to you about at the end of the video. I will shamelessly plug myself. I don't care. It's my video. <laughs> um, but so today we're going to talk mostly though about one of my favorite series. I love series, in case you didn't notice. I think the reason why I love series so much is because it the more books there are, the more time you're invested in these characters. And these characters have, de you know, developed personalities, you care what happens to them. But I know we talked about Black Dagger Brotherhood, that's like a 20 book series. We're going to talk about another series by J.R. Ward that's only three books long. And three books is a great sweet spot for you care about the characters, but not too much of a commitment to invest into. Because a lot of people are scared of a commitment of too long of a series. So the Bourbon Kings is about a family of bourbon makers, the Bradford family, and they live in Charlemont, Kentucky. All my Kentucky people, you will love this series. It is deep invested in the culture of bourbon and everything that is... Kentucky bourbon. Sorry, I have my notes on a phone today because I left my notepad, so I apologize if it looks like I'm looking down a little bit more. The phone screen keeps locking on me. So, we're talking about the Bourbon Kings, and it is by J.R. Ward as well, the same person who does the Black Dagger Brotherhood books. I love her character development, and it has really made her one of my favorite authors right now. I have quite a few favorite authors. But J.R. Ward is definitely among that list. And so I told you it takes place with the Bradford family in Charlemont, Kentucky. Well, another character that's the main character is Lizzie King. She is the gardener for the big Bradford Estates yard. Or it's not even called a yard. It's their landscape. That's the word that I was looking for. She's the gardener for the landscape at the Bradford home. And... She's been there a long time. She was there years ago and she had a bit of a tryst, a little romantic summer thing with one of the Bradford sons, Tulane. He's the middle son. Now he goes by Lane Bradford and he is, Lizzie and Lane are pretty much the two main characters in these stories. William Bradford is the head of the family and he is kind of a mean, grumpy old man and he ends up dead. We don't know if he died of natural cause, we don't know if he was killed, if it was suicide, but Nobody's really that upset that he's dead. They're just wanting to know how it happened. And Lane is very determined to find out how this happened. What happened to his father, even though, like I said, nobody really liked William Bradford. He wasn't a great person. And there are two other brothers. So you have Edward as the oldest, Lane is the middle, and then Max is the youngest, or Maxwell. And Edward is kind of on the outs. He's kind of been ostracized by the family. And that's because years and years and years ago, he was kidnapped for ransom of William Bradford. Like, they wanted William Bradford to pay ransom for him, and William wouldn't. Like, he refused to pay the ransom. Like I said, he wasn't a very nice guy, um, but Edward's messed up because of it. He was tortured. He was, you know, he's got some PTSD issues going on. And then Maxwell's just kind of like the younger brother. He's the playboy. He's always making trouble, drinking women, the whole nine yards. And it kind of just revolves, this three book series revolves around, it's a mix of who done it with who killed William Bradford and family drama and family love and how no matter what you love your family, even though they're crazy, even though they might not be the best people, in the end of the day, you love your family. And that's one of the things that I really got from this book, as well as like the culture, because there are three books in this series. The first book is called The Bourbon King, the second book is called Angel's Share, and the third book is called Devil's Cut. 
Now, from what I understand, Angel Share and Devil's Cut have something to do with the bourbon process, or bourbon mayhem process, bourbon drinking process. If you are a bourbon connoisseur and you know what these things mean, please let me know in the comments down below. Angel Share, Devil's Cut, what it has to do with bourbon. Because I would love to know. I know the book title relates somehow with bourbon. But please let me know if you find this out or if you just happen to know what these things have to do with bourbon. On that note, what am I reading? I told you guys that I was reading Ruth Ware's The Lying Game. And I finished that one yesterday. Really well done. Classic Ruth Ware. Who done it? Murder, psychological mystery. What's really going on? Really like this one. It was based on friendship. It has to do with these four girls who were best friends at this boarding school years ago. Now they're grown in in their 30s, but they got to go back to the school for a specific reason. I don't want to spoil it. But they have to go back to the school to help one of the four girls. And it's a mixture of what really happened 15 years ago and growth as humans and women and priorities with family and children and friendships and really well done psychological thriller that has a lot of other components to it. Now, what's up next for me to read? Well, I, I went ahead and I downloaded a kind of controversial book. And I'll talk to you about why. So the book I downloaded to read is My Dark Vanessa. And if you've heard about this book, it was on Oprah's Book Club. And then she dropped it because people were complaining about the content. Well, essentially, if you're not familiar with it, My Dark Vanessa has to deal with a 15-year-old girl who has an affair with one of her teachers. Um, and flash forward... The one girl's now in her 30s, I believe. I'm not sure. I haven't read it yet. But the girl's now in her 30s, and she gets a call from a policeman that her old teacher is being um, indicted for some sort of a violent crime or something, sexual crime. I'm not sure what. Like I said, I haven't read it. And she is giving her testimony about her relationship back then with him. And the reason people are controversial about it is because they think that a lot of times the main character, Vanessa, is defending the relationship she had with a as a 15-year-old with a 40-year-old man, which is, of course, unacceptable. And it's just a different perspective on this kind of a situation. I'm excited to delve into it and really give you an honest-to-vlog opinion about what I think about this book, whether I think it is defending you know, pedophilia, essentially, or whether or not I think that the author took a really good view on it, I will let you know, um, because that's going to probably be the next thing that I read. I'm also here to selflessly shame myself, not shame, um, selflessly promote myself, if you would. And that is my book, my book that I wrote, that I wrote myself, is on Amazon, you guys. It's called The Gift, and it is by Lauren Heinold. That's H-E-I-N-O-L-D. And you guys should all go buy it, because it's amazing. It is a historical romance starring um, Ava and Torin. Torin is a immortal Viking warrior who is now living in modern times and dealing with a lot of issues and things that he's seen throughout the years and centuries. And Ava is a 20-something um, radio DJ who is coming up on a little bit of self-discovery. She's trying to figure out what she's going to do. Radio is kind of dying out. Her show is probably going to get dropped. Where is she going to progress with how media and how the internet is progressing? And they meet and adventure ensues and on that note what are you guys reading hopefully you're picking up the gift and you're reading that <laughs> night